going on guys? The brand new car pack for Forza Horizon 3, the January car pack, was released yesterday for the Xbox One and the PC, and it included some pretty cool cars, but was overall quite meh. Except for one thing. They had a slight issue on the PC. If you play Forza Horizon 3 on the PC and you tried to update your game yesterday, you saw that you had a 53 gigabyte update. Yeah. That's a pretty big update when you compare that update to the same update that was on the Xbox One. That was 1.5 gigs. Yeah. So that update on the PC wasn't really just a car pack. No. It was actually a completely different version of Forza Horizon 3. It's actually a developer version of Forza. So what that means exactly is that is the version of the game, for instance, that, that the devs have back at Playground Games that they work on every single day. So in this developer version of Forza Horizon 3, you can do pretty cool things, for instance, like give yourself max fans, right? That would sort of make sense if you are a developer. You don't want to have to play through the whole game. You just want to sort of like max all your fans out or max all your XP out. Make a lot of sense. So you can do that in this game. You can also do some other pretty cool things like just change the weather or the time of day just by going into some of the menus and without doing anything, you can do it all on the fly, basically. It's pretty cool. But probably the most important thing or the most surprising thing that was in this debug update or this developer update was some of the new cars that were found in it. Oh boy, did Forza screw up. So there was this guy on Reddit called the Admeister. I hope I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. He found some crazy, crazy things. He found a bunch of new cars. And when I say a bunch, it's probably some 50 plus cars that he found in this, in this developer update. Some of them include things like the Ferrari F50 GT, the Ferrari 59XX, the Jensen Interceptor. There are some other things on there like the Volvo 242 Turbo, super famous drift car, the Aston Martin DB11 from James Bond. Actually, that wasn't in James Bond, but it is orange, not brown. A 2010 Zonda R, and like I said, a bunch of other things. So if you'd like to check out the full list of cars, there will be a link in the description where you can see literally the entire list and it is massive. It basically just lists all the cars that will be coming to Forza Horizon 3 and oh my god, it is a lot of them. So some of the cars on this list aren't even finished. Some, like the Aston Martin DB11 for instance, you can see and you can see it driving around. I believe you can actually even drive this one. And then some of the cars aren't even finished that much and they don't even have a model. Like you can't even see them in the game. You just see a blank picture of where they will be and the name of the car. That's it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, there's a massive, massive list of cars and it's simply incredible. On that massive list of cars though, there's something pretty cool. Even cooler, I would say, than the Aston Martin. There are a couple of Porsches. When I say a couple, I mean a lot. There are 18 new Porsches coming to Forza Horizon 3. Again, the full list of Porsches will be linked in the description down below and you can check them out. There are some screenshots of some of them, but some of them aren't finished yet because some of them are quite new, but they are very, very cool. And this sort of leads me on to the next point. Could this be a Porsche expansion? Because there are 18 Porsches, right? That is a lot. So it's probably at this point quite likely that we will be getting a Porsche expansion for Forza Horizon 3. Obviously there's nothing confirmed, but it's probably quite likely. A lot of the Porsches are Porsches that we've already driven before. Like I said, the full list is in the description, but it's gonna be quite annoying to be honest to buy basically the same Porsches for the fourth time. Now we have to do it in Forza 4, Forza Horizon 2, Forza 6, and now Forza Horizon 3. Four times buying the Porsche expansion. I don't know if I'm the only one, but that makes me quite annoyed. In this one, like I said, there are some new cars, which is kind of cool, I guess. And obviously RWB has been spotted in the credits of Forza Horizon 3. So some of these Porsches will have some pretty cool body mods, but still you're buying the same expansion for the fourth time. I mean, saying that we still don't know very much about the expansion. Say it might have like a whole new island that we can go to, New Zealand. Eh, who knows? Like I said, nothing's really confirmed yet. If anything does come out of this new update that says exactly what the expansion is, I will make sure to update you guys in a video. But for as of right now, all we have is this massive list of Porsches and just like, that's too many Porsches to just sneak into car packs every now and again. It's most likely gonna be a Porsche expansion. Some other things to note. 
The update that we have currently on the Xbox One, the January update, is 0.35.2. However, the update that we have for the developer version is 0.37.2. Now, every time Forza releases patches, they are like a month, right? So at the beginning of January, you'll get a patch, then February, you'll get a patch, and blah, 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 blah. So that means that this developer version would be for March. That's a lot of cars to add until March. I highly doubt they're gonna add all of these cars up until March, but eh, who knows? I mean, if they did, that'd be pretty awesome. But we do have sort of like a release date now for the Porsche expansion, I guess. Sometime around that March, March area, I would say. And this wasn't it for the leaks. There was a leak that happened a pretty long time ago that released some other car or announced some other cars for Forza. For instance, the Audi RS4 and the RS6, a bunch of MX-5s and Dom's Charger and a long list of other things. Once again, the list of all of those cars will be linked in the description down below and this list comes to you courtesy of Will be SN13. Thanks, dude. Anyways, guys, so that's just about it for what we have for leaks for today. I will make sure to keep updating you with everything you need to know, uh, either on Twitter or on the website. Alan's done a great job putting together an awesome article with every single update uh, you need to know about this expansion or this 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 leak that's happening right now because it's still going on. So if anything does change, check the link in the description, check on Twitter, and you'll get updated there. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.